Hey, this is Mark. I just made this mobile planer stand. It's got some features on it I think you might like to see. First off, this planer stand was made with simple joinery. I just used half laps on the corners using 2x4s and then 2x4s ran across the stretchers and this one was for some added strength for the end of the table. So I did not do a build video for this, but it's pretty simple basic construction. I made retractable casters for the base. The wheels are held there by a 2x4 that is hinged at this point and uh, all I did was put a uh, dowel through the 2x4 on both sides with 3 quarter inch boards coming down with holes there. The, there's a 2x4 on the bottom that the wheels are attached to and those are hinged to the base. And what this allows me to do is to lift up on the cart and move the 2x4 and then it settles down solidly on the floor. Here it is on the other side. The planer blows the chips out at a pretty high velocity. So with this hose hooked up, I created a dust collection system that goes into this tub down below. The tub has a piece of three quarter inch board that I have screwed in from the side just to hold it there. And what this does is to help separate the chips inside and then on the top, I drilled a hole, which is the same size diameter as the uh, hose. And then I put this 1 8 inch screen mesh, and I screwed that on the bottom of the lid there. And then I draped this other 1 8 inch mesh down to kind of help prevent the, the chips from getting in um, and that seems to work pretty well. On the top side I screwed the uh, some 2x4s and then a piece of plywood on the top so you can see where the, the, whole, the hose goes in And see those two by fours just kind of raise up with the uh, plywood on top. And then there's a space here for the air to come out. I had to create this bigger space there than just a small opening. Otherwise chips came up the side. So all I do is I just put the lid on and make sure this screen that's kind of draping down is on this side of the board. The input hole is here on this side of the of that board and then snap it in place. Hose just is a friction fit. These lunchbox style of planers tend to have a bad rap for the snipe that they get and I found when I first used it I did get some snipe um, about two inches on both the front end and the back end. For this table I wanted to extend the the length of the table but I don't have a lot of room in the shop for that. So I came up with a solution. I made these removable in-feed and out-feed tables. They just slip into the ends here like this. And then I have a leg with a dowel on the end here and I drilled a hole through this and I can feed this up through the bottom and this helps support it on this end. For the in-feed and out-feed extension tables I just picked up some three-quarter inch pressed board in the 
discount rack at my local home center. I believe this one was $1 and the other one was $3. So it was pretty cheap. I reinforced it with two by fours on the bottom so that it would help keep the, uh, be straight. And on the top, I just used some double stick carpet tape and put a thin piece of acrylic over the top. And then, um, I haven't done so yet, but I will put some wax on here to help this slide a little bit better. So now, with my extension tables on there, I've got four and a half feet from here to the center of the planer. So if I have an eight foot board on here, most of that is gonna be on the table, and it'll help support it, which will help it from rocking back because of the weight hanging off of this end. All right, let's see this thing in action. I set this up over here so that I could see how much dust was coming off the end. I just put a box here to collect. You can see there's some shavings. This is after two passes, okay? So it's not 100% effective. But if we look inside, it is trapped inside there. So here is the board after it's been planed and I'm showing here that there really is no significant snipe there at all. I can't feel it with my fingers. I don't have a dial gauge to accurately measure that, but it's very, very flat. Well, that's all for this one. I just wanted to build this without having to worry about taking video because sometimes that takes a long time. I wanted to be able to get on to some cooler projects. But since I made it, I th I'd show you its features and how well it works. Thanks for watching. I appreciate the support.